Let us solve one gate 2011 question came on the topic array. See, the question is like this. Consider an array A 1 dot dot n that means n number of locations are there containing permutation of numbers 1 dot dot n. That means this particular array is containing permutation of the numbers 1 to n. Now compute another array B 1 dot dot n same size as B A i is equal to i. That means at the ith location at the ith location of A array will be holding the index of B that very location will be containing i. Now for all i, okay, which of the following is true? B will be a shorted array, B will be a permutation of A elements, B is not a permutation of A elements and last one is the none of the above. So, let us go for, uh, I think this sort of problem we can easily solve if we take one instance. Okay. Now, let us suppose I have considered n is equal to n is equal to 8. So, a and a will be having values ranging from 1 to 8, I have placed them arbitrarily. Now, I am going to fill up the array b using this particular logic. So, in array b, 1 will be placed at the second location, 2 will be placed at the 7th location, 3 at the first location, 4 at the fifth location. In this way, I shall go on filling up and after filling up this one, I can confirm without going for the rest, I can easily confirm it is not a shorted, it is a permutation of A elements, it is not a permutation of B elements is false and none of the above is also false. So, I shall be going for B. So, from here it is quite obvious that I am going to get a permutation of A elements in the B array. So, that my answer will be B. Let us complete the uh, fill up. So, 3 will be placed, uh, sorry, yes, 3 will be placed at the first, I have done. Now, 4 will be placed at the fifth location, I have done. 5 will be placed at the fourth location, 6 will be placed at the third location, 7th will be placed at the eighth location. So, 8 will be placed at the sixth location. So, obviously, that is another permutation of A elements. In this way, these sort of questions can easily be solved. Thanks for watching this one.